Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nostromo and today we are playing Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, it is a fan game. It is called The Shadow of Leatherface, I believe. Um, what an opening. So that definitely was almost a shot for shot remake of the original film, um, which is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. If you have not seen the original, I definitely recommend it. Uh, I feel like most people know the remake. Yeah, The Shadow of Leatherface is the title of this game. Uh, so this is from the same guy who made the Scream fan game that I played yesterday. So I definitely recommend checking him out. Uh, a lot of his games are available for purchase. Fairly cheap, actually. And then a lot of the, the fan games, um, obviously he can't sell those. But you can tip them if you like. And most of them are pretty interesting. I really enjoyed the Scream one. Uh, I will say there's a couple of typos as far as the... Um, dialogue or subtitles go and then there was a little bit of chugging and lag with the ghost face game but i'm not sure if that was my computer my computer is like pretty high end it was it you know it's able to run most triple a games i don't think it was my computer but i don't know either way it was a good game so i think this game is kind of like a mix of playing as the victim and also the killer so i guess we're gonna Get rid of these cops, first of all. You know, how dare they come on my property? Do they not know how people in Texas are? Um, so yeah, I found this game while I was looking up more from this, you know, this developer. Yeah, he had Ghost Faced. He has a Tremors game. And, you know, we're getting very close to spooky season. It is almost upon us. And I figured, you know what? Now is the perfect time to start playing more horror games because I love horror. Scary movies are my favorite kind of movies. Um, and same with video games. I love Resident Evil. Uh, if you want to classify the Bioshock games, it's kind of like a sci-fi horror. I love those. Uh, I love Dead Space. I'm trying to think of other ones. Left for Dead, Dead by Daylight, Friday the 13th. Uh, don't even get me started on Friday the 13th. I am so sad that game kind of is basically canceled. No, no more new content. I am considering picking it up for the PC just because... There is a modding community now that is adding life to the game. They're adding new maps. They're adding uh, new skins, stuff like that. So that is something that is on my radar. I currently own the game for the Xbox, and uh, my husband and I have the game for the Switch. So that is mainly just so we can play together, but I haven't really touched the game in a while. I kind of got sucked into Dead by Daylight. I played Dead by Daylight... Um, a couple times, actually, right before Friday the 13th came out, I could never really get into it. Uh, even now, um, I enjoy it a lot more now than I did a couple years ago, but I still find the gameplay a little repetitive. Uh, at least with Friday, there was different ways to escape. But once you get past the, you know, fixing generators every single time, Dead by Daylight is a lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. Um, I 
picked it up for the Switch and got back into it whenever they released the Resident Evil pack, or chat they call them chapters, uh, because I am a huge Jill Valentine fan, so any game that lets me play as her, you already have my attention. But I think I go back and forth between Jill Valentine and Nancy from Stranger Things. Those are my two mains. Uh, and definitely, if you are interested in Dead by Daylight, get it now, because after the end of November, you can no longer get the Stranger Things characters, so they will be gone. If you have them, you can keep them, along with the cosmetics, but the map will be gone forever, and the option to buy Nancy, Steve, and the Demogorgon is gone. So definitely pick them up now, so you will always have them. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. It said go to the gas station, but there really wasn't anything there. Um, you can't hear it, but oddly, the song on the radio that is playing is Alice Cooper's uh, The Man Behind the Mask, which is from Friday the 13th. Uh, very odd choice for uh, a Leatherface game. Also, I'm starting to question by the looks of these girls if this guy is a pimp or maybe like these are his hoes because they're definitely dressed um, a little interesting. She's she's dressed like she's going clubbing, but then she has a side ponytail, which was an interesting choice. Um, and also, I feel like if you're this drunk, do you really care about finding a bathroom? Just find a bush. This is why people in scary movies die because they're going to go into the creepy abandoned whatever warehouse to look for a toilet when they could have just went behind the dumpster. Okay, um, we're looking for a toilet. She said she has to pee. I'm waiting for a jump scare because I'm sure there's going to be one. Um, okay, so, and the game is pretty simple to use. It's just uh, the keyboard and then the mouse. There's not really any, uh, it does not support controller, unfortunately. Yeah, I knew there was a jump scare coming. So we are down one of our um, female companions, if you will. So I'm assuming... Oh, we're Leatherface again. Okay. So probably looking for a meat hook. That is his MO. Um, okay, I don't see one over here. Also, it's weird that we're like suddenly in this Silent Hill town... Uh, in a warehouse and not the house. I was kind of hoping to explore the house because the guy definitely did a good job uh, modeling it after the original movie. It was almost picture perfect. I'm also really getting into these PlayStation 1 graphics game. I think they're called like uh, PSX or something. It's very nostalgic and also in some ways I think more terrifying uh, just because the graphics are a little wonky. All these character models look terrible in a good way. Okay, are you drunk too? No, you're walking fine. Okay. Um, well, I'm assuming he's going to pop out probably around this corner. No? Okay. Um, I guess let's go to the bathroom. Oh, I I'm assuming like these are scripted. Like, you yeah, okay, the characters have to die. Okay. Um... Okay, so we're back as the guy now. Where did those two wretches go? Yeah, the dialogue in this um, is interesting to say the least. That it's not a knock against the developer. It's just um, there's a couple of typos and the dialogue is a little um, weird. Okay, I guess, you know, this is a bathroom party. So let's go back to the bathroom. Oh, there's a chainsaw. Do we get to, like, fight him? Yeah, so as I was saying, the controls are pretty easy. It's just um, WASD for walking and then just left click. Um, the Ghostface game was a little bit more involved. It was the same controls, but I think it was E was how you interacted with items. Um, but that game, at least for me, had a little bit of lag. That could have been on my end. I'm not really sure. But um, and near the end, when it was the chase to the neighborhood, it definitely had a little bit of lag. Shit, that scared me. Um, am I dead? Oh, no, okay. Um, okay, now I'm dead. Oh, wait, was I supposed to fight him? Okay, damn, okay, good, we start right back here. Okay, good, um, that was my bad. 
thank God it didn't make it start all over again. Okay, are we child Leatherface? Yeah, Sawyer Farm, Travis County, 1955. Um, surprisingly, normal looking for a child. I would assume his face would be more messed up. Now, I will say that the model for this kid is pretty detailed. Um, okay, I don't think we can go to the barn. Um, also, I like how those two bullies are just going to stay there while I go get... A chainsaw. Their uh, fight or flight has not kicked in yet. Yeah, I don't know. I always just like assumed Leatherface was kind of jacked up when he was a ch uh, kid. Uh, I know in the remake they kind of touched on the fact that I think he had like a disease that was eating away at his face, but this kid looks pretty normal. Uh, okay, can we go in here? Yeah, we can. Uh, it's probably going to be upstairs, I would imagine. I mean, a chainsaw can't be too hard to miss. Nothing? Oh. Okay, we're gonna go all Silent Hill. A knife and a bunny mask. Okay, you know, he, he's starting out. He hasn't really found his calling yet. Okay, we're back in Southern Phase. Did he hide in the locker? I heard a locker noise or a door. No? Okay, maybe... I feel like he went in a locker. I heard, like, a door noise, so I'm pretty sure he's hiding in a locker. Can I interact with any of these? No? Okay, maybe he went outside. He's gonna get away. We took too much time. Oh, maybe not. Shit, I missed him. Okay, yeah, he ain't going nowhere. We got this. We got this. Okay, that is a wrap. Okay, so I think that's the end of it. Uh, this, yeah. Okay, so this was a cool game. Um, he has a couple of other games on his uh, website. I definitely recommend checking them out. Just type in uh, his name, which you'll see in the end credits, or look up screen the, the video game and you'll find him. Like I said, definitely donate if you like his work. Uh, why we are talking about that, if you like any of my work, please consider liking or subscribing to my channel. It does help me out. And with that being said, as always, be safe, be kind, wear a mask, and I hope to see you guys soon. Actually, I will not see you, but I hope you will see my videos soon. Bye.